It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. So much for staying ahead of the chains with a three or four yard gain on first down. They move the chains with a nice little run. Yeah, they're making the chain gang hustle a little bit to try and keep up, aren't they? Because a lot of the first series of games are scripted, many times to probe and find some holes in the defense. Sometimes you attack with some big time runs, too. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. A first down carry by Elliott. And he carries this one past the midfield, striping into commander territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. A nice pickup of 17 yards. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix-up on the play calling, right? Establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. A first down throw for Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Prescott's throw taken in there by Cooks. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Second down and three. Prescott to throw it. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Aubrey good with a PAT. And it's now a 7 0 game. That time, a nine play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the commanders making their way out. And they will be let out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw on third down, Daniels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Daniels. I tell you what, that's a better play from the guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Off play action. Daniels. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It's a first down following a gain of three. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They start on the ground with Elliott. Oh, he's heading he lost the football, put it on the carpet. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And they had just picked it off to get the football. They fumble it right back. They looked over to both sidelines. A lot of scrambling to find the helmets. Yeah, you can almost, I mean, you know both sides are screaming sudden change. Because when sudden change happens, that's a defensive call to get back out on the field. There's been a fumble, so an intercept, some type of a turnover. You've got to get back out there and play. These guys just want to get to the bench and gap. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack 
is a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Two yards still to go, third down now. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried his dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. A second down throw for Prescott. Able to hit his target land. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. To throw is Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 27-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And out of bounds right around the 20. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And again, it's Prescott. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Prescott from the gun. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. Elliott. Going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. 
This offense two for two on third downs on this drive. This the most important of them all, third and goal. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And his kick is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. They begin the drive with Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 29, here's second and a couple. Gets this out quickly to Dotson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. To throw on second down, Daniels. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Running on first down, Eckler. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw. Daniels. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. 
Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. Back to throw. Daniels. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Damone Clark, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Well, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his high level. Under pressure, they got him again. Damone Clark drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. And this will do the job nicely, as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because <laughs> they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Prescott looks to throw on first. This is caught. It's Cooks. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second down and six now. Throwing. Prescott. Tolbert holds in the out route. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So the completion good for six yards. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Dax Milne deep for Washington. This is taken around the 12. 
So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. The Cowboys were treated to a fine first half from number four quarterback Dak Prescott. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line, and they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels fighting McCaffrey on the slam. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, Daniels. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 46, here's the second and nine. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Daniels. And he is caught. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Off the play fake. Daniels. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Operating from the gun. Daniels looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. 
And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by McManus is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 57 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. First down run with Elliott going to go for about four. Second and six coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? From the 48-yard line, here's second and six. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and it's down to give up the middle. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 43-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Prescott to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 37, they work on second and six. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 32. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, he's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks! His second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is now 17-3. So after to the touchdown. Aubrey now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. There he goes left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. That one complete out to Dotson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Robinson up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Saw the linebacker, Damone Clark, coming through with a stop. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. Off play action. Daniels. And that's going to be incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. The offense on third down tonight, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and six. On the give, here's Robinson. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 61 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. 
That'll bring up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Hand off now to Robinson. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Looking to throw. Daniels. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. From the gun on third down, Daniels. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. So the completion gets him just a yard. And that's going to make it fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? They'll run for it with Robinson. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On play action, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they work this out past the 25. 22 yards there, a first down. 
Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Prescott off play action. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 98 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On third down, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. We'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Hey, 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 hey. 
So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the 